Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south. More specifically, we are in Columbia, South Carolina. And yesterday, we were in Raleigh, North Carolina at the North Carolina State Fair. So I figured it would only make sense as we are trying to visit all the state fairs that I drive a few hours south down here to Columbia, South Carolina, where they're having the South Carolina State Fair. Yes, this is number 22 in our, in our attempt to visit all the state fairs. Yesterday we had a lot of fun at North Carolina. It'll be interesting to see how the uh, South Carolina Fair compares to the North Carolina State Fair. And yes, they do run them at almost the exact same time. So in a way, we have the competing Carolina Fairs. So please, follow me. As we enter the South Carolina State Fair, we are greeted by this giant rocket, kind of shaped like a giant crayon there, and it says, be well. And over here by the gate, we have the American Heritage Museum. Have a little open air museum here, people selling some crafts. This truck over here, invites you to uh, just take some pictures, have some uh, costumes here, some various hats. See over at this campfire, they're cooking up some vegetables. Got some potatoes and carrots there. Cooking on the campfire. Back here we have the uh, Frontier Museum. It says that it is a uh, a pioneer museum on wheels. You can see uh, see the uh, miner there inviting us inviting us in. Yeah, so yeah, let's check out the museum here. Oh, okay. Some horse skulls. A variety of different uh, different pelts and skulls right here. There's the bear trap. Oh, it shows you how it can uh, how it can splinter bones there. And they have a, quite a collection of different saddles. Here in the Moore building, we have our arts and crafts. Wide variety of different artistic crafts here. See the bride doll. There's a little crocheted Grogu. Yes, a lot of crocheting here. You can see the crochet dress. Oh, I see some fun stuff over here. Let's see, we have a uh, a taxidermied duck there. It's always good to know young people still interested in a taxidermy. And look at that. That's a uh, a Lego Five Nights at uh, at Freddy Head. I think that's is that is that Bonnie. I, I'm, I'm learning. I'm still learning about the uh, the Five Nights from Freddy, Freddy's lore. I have not uh, not got a chance to see the movie yet, but I'm looking forward to it. And then look at this. Someone has a uh, a homemade um, fursona, like the, like a, like, a, like a furry character. It looks like a dragon there that someone has made, like their their furry alter ego. And this television set. Oh yeah, like a television set terrarium there. Back here we have some uh, some lions, 
and some tigers here in their uh, in their circus cage. The baking competition over here. See uh, a lot of red velvet cakes. I guess red velvet is kind of a uh, a local cake to the Carolinas. I believe it, it is a Carolina thing, right? Red velvet cake, a, a kind of a Carolina delicacy. Oh, here's some really interesting cakes. You got the cactus cake there, the cheeseburger cake, and then a state fair themed cake there. That's that rocket that we saw when we first entered. And I believe this is a Charleston, South Carolina themed cake. They have the uh, rainbow row, famous row of colored houses there from Charleston. And look at this, this is a cake. This like life-size pig is actually a cake. Pig cake there. And this cake here is a seal. <laughs> And this is crazy here. This is a low country, low country boil. Definitely a South Carolina piece of South Carolina cuisine. You got the crab legs in there, the sausage, the shrimp, pieces of corn. Looks delicious. Pumpkin painting contest there. There's Cogsworth from Beauty and the Beast. It's just like a, uh, it's like a lighthouse pumpkin. And uh, Cruella de Vil. Cow pumpkin and uh, look at this a hot air balloon pumpkin. Bunch of bunch of farm animals there in the hot air balloon. They, it looks like looks like they don't they don't know what to do. Oh well, yeah, what, what would happen if you put a bunch of cows in a hot air balloon? How would they ever get down? Oh, here we have our state fair photo op there. It's like a uh, a Polaroid photograph from the fair and all the uh, wonderful fair creatures there. Oh, what's this? We have a exhibit on Princess Diana in here. Interesting. This way, walk down the red carpet here. These are the photographers that would uh, take photos of Princess Diana. And there's uh, one of the cameras they used to do it. And different pictures of uh, Princess Diana, as well as her uh, her family. And forgive me, I don't know all the names. I don't really keep up with the royal family and their doings. In this room we have uh, different artistic sculptures inspired by different hats that Princess uh, Diana would wear. The giant floating tiara there. It's like we have the animals over here. Horses, pigs, sheep, cows, chickens, goats, and rabbits. Here we have our rabbits. Hey bunnies, how are you guys doing today? Feel a little sleepy? Of course, nothing cuter than the baby duck slide there. Ducks, uh, ducks love a good water slide. See them going up to the top. Okay, you can go, buddy. Don't be scared. He's, he's worried. The guy at the top's thinking about it. Thinking about it. Oh, here they come. Whee! Yeah, I think there's one guy that's a little too, a little too scared to go down the water slide. Come on, ducks. Whee! 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 <laughs> ah, look at the little ducks. Here we have the chickens and roosters. And look at this, look at this rooster. I never knew that roosters had uh, bones in their tail feathers. Behold, king of the turkeys. Gobble, gobble. Big petting zoo back here. There's a couple of miniature horses named Thunder and Lightning. Which one are you, are you Thunder? Where are you lightning, little horse? Little friend back there, looks like he's taking a drink of water. It's a pleasure to meet you, do you like being petted? 
Nah, not particularly, but uh, it was nice to meet you anyways. Oh, he's done. He's done now, uh, drinking his water. Look at here, hanging out in the center of the petting zoo. We have a big camel. Hey, camel. You want some food? I brought this just for you. I know you're hungry, because camels are always hungry. Here we go. There we go. You know what? Just make it rain. You can have all of it. You can have it. You're very welcome. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Your friend ate all the. Your friend ate all the food. I'm. I. I. He didn't leave any for you. I take it up with him, please. I'm sorry. There's some four horn Jacob sheep. Actually, this four horn Jacob sheep only has two horns. So uh, this one here, this four horn Jacob sheep, he's got one, two, three, four horns. So he's 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 a guy. He's more like a two horn. Jacob sheep in all reality. Oh my gosh. That is the tiniest zebu I've ever seen. You're a tiny little zebu. Hey donkey. Hey donkey. Let's see what's in here. All right, we got some uh, some cows in this barn. Hey there cows. Oh, look at these cows here. These are some very interesting looking cows. <laughs> what kind of cow is that? Doesn't say. If you, know what, if you know what type of cow this is, leave a comment in the comment section. And of course, get your state fair savings here on a brand new hot tub. It's a Pirates of the Caribbean theme on the bells. There's sand sculpture. It's in this building here. All right, where's that sand sculpture? We see gutter guards, adjustable beds. Oh, look at that, we got Smokey the Bear in here. Unfortunately, this Smokey the Bear doesn't talk like the one at the uh, North Carolina State Fair. And they also have a, a smaller talking Smokey at the uh, Ohio State Fair. And here we have it. The sand sculpture. It says food fight. So it looks like a battle between different food items. It's a very angry chicken drumstick there. We have a, a, a soda and a, uh, and a thing of ice cream whacking each other with spoons. Oh, that. That uh, hot dog over the top is wearing boxing gloves. So a very, very intense battle royal between all these uh, different food items made of sand. On the side here, got a pretzel. There's a chocolate chip cookie up there. A lollipop, a corn cob. Oh, there's a slice of pizza there hiding in the back. Some concrete items for your yard. The frogs and alligator. But what struck my eye here is they have the Lizard Man, the Bishopville Scape or Swamp Lizard Man. He is a, a cryptid from South Carolina, a walking lizard. Uh, that's awesome that, uh, that he's here amongst other cryptids such as Bigfoot there. Oh yeah, love the Lizard Man. And it is time to take in the pig races. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to catch the pig races they had yesterday at the North Carolina State Fair, but here we have Swifty Swine. This is the pig racing troupe I saw at the uh, Indiana State Fair. From the movie Footloose, give it up for Kevin, Kevin Bacon. Bacon. All right. So Number one, two, three, give it to you. Run, two, three, run, two, four, 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 two, three, run, two,
Go, Swifty, go. That's what I'm talking about right there. Yeah, good little piggy diving a pound for you. Shout out some Oreo cookie. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Swifty. Your swim and pig, huh? She's our former Speaker of the House. Please welcome Nancy Piglosi. Oh, getting political. Nancy Piglosi. That's a tough crowd over there. Okay, one of you. Session two out of lane two and a rant. He's running for president. Please welcome former New Jersey Governor Chris Crispy Bacon. Yeah. All right, section two, one of you. Section two out of lane three in the yellow, the main man. Please welcome Sleepy Joe. <laughs> and running for you, section four out of lane four in the green. Please welcome little Donald Trump Roast. All right, there we are. Section four, they're ready to go. Here's All race number three. Y'all have one side. Here we go. Political pigs. All right, it's five dollars to get your photo with a pig named Honey Boo Boo. That's perfect right there. So cute. I've actually met the real Honey Boo Boo too. Right. Oh, it's That's what you call a selfie. It's a pig selfie. We're gonna <laughs> All right. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, no. Oh, I got you. Can you give her a kiss? I'm joking. All right. Let's run. Over here we have the circus at the fair. has come to check out the midway and I think the best way to get a look at the midway is from the sky. Here comes the purple car. There we go. And it is time to head sky forth. Oh yeah look at the zipper. <laughs> I always, always keep one eye on the zipper. Most terrified I've ever been in my life was my experience on the zipper. But yeah, I've got a pretty sizable, pretty sizable midway here. Look at that big skateboard style ride down there. As we dangle our feet above the midway. Yeah, the sky ride is kind of how I prepare myself for uh, for the midway, for the terror, for the uh, for the rides. Get up here, take a few deep breaths, meditate up in the air, kind of survey the land, and look what's in store for me. See a bunch of people down there stuck in the monkey maze. Oh, who's that down there? Who's that? Got a got a, got a giant. A giant giraffe and zebra down there walking around in the midway. And it is time to descend back to planet Earth. Oh yeah, look at this. A giraffe there and a tiger. A little stilt dance there. Hello! Oh, look at this, they're reaching. You can almost reach the feet of the people there on the sky ride. Oh. And our 
elephant awaits. All right, here we go. I guess there's a pedal down here. Is this? Doesn't appear to be doing anything. Here we go. See that elephant there in the middle, wearing the pink overalls. Got the little mouse there. What's his name? Timothy. And then there's those uh, those crows, those infamous crows along the arms there. Oh, there we go. Sailing high above the South Carolina State Fair on an elephant. Yeah, excited to finally be on a flying elephant. I tried riding a flying elephant ride at the, uh, what was it, the uh, the Alabama State Fair. No, the Georgia State Fair, and it wouldn't fly. It wouldn't leave the ground. I just went on a circle on the ground. It's the normal elephant. Yeah, but look at these beautiful colored elephants as they soar in a circle. Jostled there. Okay, we're headed back down to uh, back down to planet Earth here. Now, what should we ride? Now, if there's a particular carnival ride or amusement park ride that you'd like to see me show on this channel, just leave a just leave a uh, comment in the comment section. I've been trying to reduce the number of like spinning, twirling rides that I go on because of my nausea, but. I don't know, I love this old Tilt-A-Whirl. Love the uh, the classic colors there. You see the cars even have the clowns on the back. So you know what? Let's go for a ride on this, uh, this old Tilt-A-Whirl. All right, let's find a Tilt-A-Whirl car to hop in here. You gotta pull this down into your lap. Keeps you nice and secure as you twirl. Oh, wow. Twirling? Oh yeah, we're just going right into we're just going right into it. I don't know if you guys there we go. Nice relaxing twirl. Oh my goodness. Oh jeez. You guys want uh you guys wanna oh you guys want a POV of, of what I'm seeing? There you go. That is that is what it looks like on a Tilt-A-Whirl. Oh my goodness. Oh jeez. This is, I, oh my goodness. Whee! <laughs> oh my gosh. I think the Tilt-A-Whirl might be one of the more nauseating because you can't, you can't predict how it's gonna twist, how it's gonna tilt or move. Like a scrambler continually moves in the right direction with the same direction so you can prepare for it. A tilt-a-whirl, however, is unpredictable. You don't know which way it's going to fall or twist. So it's like extra nauseating in that way. Oh, goodness. To create a rating system on how to rate how nauseating all the different uh, carnival rides are. Ooh. Yeah, doesn't that look fun? So much, so much fun here on the, on the Tilt-A-Whirl. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! talking we have a dark ride this is the morbid mansion motel actually on the sign morbid mansion is crossed out and it says zombie mansion farmlands zombie mansion motel is the name of this ride oh you can see yeah they have the little area back there where the cars come through I think they have I think they have this same dark ride on the boardwalk in uh, Ocean City Maryland but uh, yeah let's check out the farmlands zombie slash morbid mansion oh, yeah, 
that. You see they have the little opening there. People ride through. There's a little zombie car there. Our chariot awaits. Whoop! Here we go. Spooky picture of a skeleton there. Oh, look at this. Oh, I like it. Brightly colored ghouls there. Really dark. Oh, who is that? And now here the outdoor section. Uh, oh, headed right back in. The peppermint. A little drop here. There's a cage. A cage with something in it. Oh, no scares. Something. Something over here. The big red light on its face. I think this may be our uh, exit here. Yeah, that was the uh, Morbid Mansion Motel. We got the Super Cyclone here, and a lot of times, for whatever reason, these uh, traveling roller coasters they don't allow you to ride single rider on here. Um, but I don't see any signs, so I'm actually going to see if they will uh, let me take a ride. Oh, I'm going to go down the drop there. Whee! He has to like push the roller coaster to get it to launch. Chariot awaits. All right, and here we go. I'm ready, girly. Up the lift hill here. Oh my goodness. All right, over here at the top of the coaster. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Big drop, big drop coming up. Funhouse Row here, including the traffic jam here. All right, hold tight. There's only six of you, and I'm not going to get anybody else. All right. and then the chop shop. Chop shop is in where they take your car to chop it into pieces and sell it off for money. And then they guess they call the barrel the chop suey. Oh my god. Oh. 
see if I can get a good slide here. All right, here we go. There we go. Let's see, are these the side to side ones? Yeah. Through the treacherous, spongy Finally, the Madagascar Funhouse. Oh yeah, he goes to the bungees there. This guy inside a fun house. Is. I don't know who he is. Oh, there he goes. Look at him. That's alarming. Oh my gosh. Almost tripped. Oh, there's a goblin or something in there as well. Alright. We go into the barrel here. Looks like we got a, a fish themed barrel. Was that a penguin? Right there, oh yeah, yeah. See the penguin behind me there. We exit through the barrel. Sizzler here, you know, we, we rode the tilt-a-whirl, so I think that uh, fulfills our twirling quota for the evening. What is even happening right here? What? is this thing okay this is called the the delusion and it's just kind of like dangling people see those people are upside down is this stuck oh no 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 there we go spun a little bit you'd have to be delusional you think that getting on here is a good idea oh wait is this stuck the ride attendant just ran over to the arm Oh no. Oh there, it's lowering. It's lowering to these people. These people are upside down. Um, yeah, is everything okay? These people are upside down here. Oh yeah, that one car. I don't know if you can see back there. Those people are upside down. They're manually lowering it. Oh, okay. And then the attendant is manually, okay, there he goes, manually flipping them back right side up. Well, I guess that could have been worse. Looks like, uh, looks like the attendant knew what he was doing. Okay, so the ride just Apparently someone got stuck upside down, but we're gonna let people right back on. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. So they're spinning on that big arm, and then the individual benches are spinning, and apparently they occasionally get stuck upside down. That's gotta be one of those horrible things I've ever seen. And all these people saw, all these people saw that ride get stuck upside down while they were in line, they got on it anyways. All right, but the good news, it looks like everyone this time is uh, coming in uh, right side up. Oh, the ostrich guy is here. Met him at the uh, Delaware State Fair. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Pretty good. Oh. Listen. You can learn of course. You can pet him? Oh, hey there. Oh, it's a nice ostrich. Didn't get a chance to check out the agricultural building, so let's take a peek inside. 
a big pumpkin there, a 490 pound pumpkin. It says uh, over here, it's real, do not scratch. It's, I don't know, is that the way you tell if a pumpkin is real? You scratch it? Here is the scarecrow contest. See this scarecrow over here? I love his giant mustache. This scarecrow here reading a book called How to Scare Crows 101. And then this is some sort of some sort of goblin. We have a Christmas tree competition. Here is the winner of the Christmas tree uh, Christmas tree contest. Got the blue ribbon. I guess this scarecrow could really scare some crows flying through the air on the back of a tractor. Oh, look who else showed up. They were reflecting people. Oh, it's wonderful. Wonderful to see you guys again. How are you doing? Enjoying the fair? Oh, you got some shiny, shiny shoes. Shiny everything, really. Oh. A bunch of here. And there he is. The Triceratops. Oh, I've been waiting, waiting to finally ride you. Now he does look like he is missing a horn, but that doesn't mean I love him any less. Here we go. Being followed by a rabbit, a horse, and a zebra. And for some reason that zebra is wearing a saddle, which is odd because zebras don't normally wear saddles because zebras are wild animals. You know, good things come to those who wait. I knew that if I was patient, eventually the day would come when I would get to ride. A Triceratops. And that'll do Triceratops. That'll do. So excited to see this carousel here. It's the same double carousel they had at the Indiana State Fair. Right in the middle of the summer of carousels. And I was super excited. So I thought I was going to get to ride a Triceratops. To ride a dinosaur on a carousel. Unfortunately, the gentleman operating the ride told me that the Triceratops was broken and I had to ride that hummingbird instead. But now it's back, it looks like the Triceratops is fixed and we'll maybe, maybe get a chance to hop aboard that Triceratops and finally get a chance to ride a dinosaur on a carousel. We got the midsummer running. Now it's time to get a little bit of state fair dinner. And uh, this stand here, fairly known for their donut burgers. Home of the donut burger there. Or you can try their new donut dog there. I don't know, maybe we should go for uh, Go, I've never, I, I have had a donut burger before, and actually not, not the biggest fan, but you know, I've never had a donut dog. Let's, it, let, let, let's splurge, let's go for the donut dog. And there it is, the donut dog. It's got like a donut bun split down so that a hot dog could fit inside. You got bacon and like this melted frosting all over everything. It looks very sticky and messy. All right. There we go. It's just dripping, dripping that icing there. Very sweet. Of course. But the icing, definitely a mixture of flavors, unsurprisingly. Pretty good, surprisingly. Surprisingly, it all comes together pretty well. Not always a fan of mixing sweet and savory, but that's pretty good. There's a lot of frosting. So dip the dip the bacon in frosting there. Of course, 
a little bit, trying to eat better, but it's okay every once in a while to uh, have a treat, to have a, a donut dog. I don't eat donut dogs every day, I promise. Fingers are so sticky. The South Carolina State Fair would like to thank our partners, Pepsi, First Citizens Bank, South Carolina FFA, Lexington. A really good hot dog. Like a good, a good wiener. South Carolina 4H, South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Get some extra frosting there for the last bite. That's a, that's a true state fair dinner there. I'm gonna wash my hands. Get the official state fair merch here. Of a alien abducting a cow. Interesting. Didn't notice him when I was uh, coming in, but uh, there's uh, this elephant figure, this blue elephant guy. He's actually on uh, in the center of the flying elephant ride, but he's got the uh, South Carolina State Fair logo there on his chest. And look at this, on his hat, there's a sticker for the Big E. I've been wanting to go to the Big E for a long time. It's another big E sticker. It's definitely, definitely on the list. This is, I've heard this is one of the best uh, state fairs in, actually a multi-state fair in the country. So thank you for joining me here today at the South Carolina State Fair, another State Fair in the bag. This is State Fair number 22. And I'm continuing to chug along. This is a multi-year project. So hopefully maybe into the next year we'll be, be visiting some more State Fairs. Almost halfway there, almost, almost halfway there. But uh, thank you guys so much for coming along. Had a great time today. Uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe. I do travel around the country. I film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, other fun, random stuff. If uh, you'd like to help support the channel, consider contributing to Patreon. $3 or more gets you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop and doing personalized messages on Cameo. All the information for both those things is in the description of the video. And of course, all those things. I'll keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this rocket in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.